How's it going on Tuesday, August 3rd, 2021? Baseball Hall of Fame pitchers, about 83 of them. I've done about 45, so I got another 42 to go. Roughly 40 to go. Episode 215, Herb Pennock. Old school, 1912, 1934, 22 years, 241 victories, 162 losses, 59% winning, 3.60 ERA, 249 complete games, very good, 35 shutouts, 3,571 innings, very good, strikeouts, 1,227. These old, old school pitchers got in because they had complete games over 200, 249. 1912, 1934, played for Philadelphia A's, Herb. They played for the Boston Red Sox and the Yankees. Look at his career, comes in 18 years old, one and two. Next year, two and one, 11, four, three and six. 0-2, oh, 5-5. And five and five. Slow start. Goes in the military, 1918. 1919 comes back strong. 16 and 8. 16, 13. 13 and 14. 10 and 17. 19 and 6. 1924. 21 and 9 with the Yankees. Next year, 16 and 17. Next year, 23 and 11. 220 win seasons. 1927, he's on the Yankees, the Babe Ruth Lou Gehrig team, 19 and 8. Then he goes 17 and 6, 9 and 11, 11 and 7, 11 and 6, 9 and 5, 7 and 4, and at age 40, 1934, 2 and 0. Oh. So 241 innings. He was instrumental in those Yankees who won the pennant, won the World Series. He's a very good pitcher for them. I think that's why he made the Hall of Fame. Also, the 3,571 innings is a factor. So Herb, not much more you can say about him except for the complete games and the innings. So we'll put him in the Hall of Fame. Next on the list, these are some of the guys that we haven't heard of, really. So bear, bear with me as we go through these pictures. We'll get to some more recon, rec, recognizable rec, names you recognize. How about that? All right, this guy, old school, Hal Newhauser made the Hall of Fame. We'll cover him next. Thanks for watching. I'm out.